he hasn't had the job training at school. So right now we're just, we're stuck. Laura Colness is the mom of Sammy, a 21 year old student with autism who's lost critical development because of remote instruction. He goes to school part time, only half days. He just started going back to ShopRite for an hour, a couple of days a week. But that's, that's no way making up for the, the 10 months that he's been sitting at home. Sammy is about to graduate. The milestone is known amongst the autism community as falling off a cliff, the time when all state provided services stop. But for kids who've lost a year of services because of COVID, that cliff is even steeper. They try to replicate vocational tasks, but it's not possible. I'll give you an example of something they try to do. Take colored hooks and string them together on a larger hook or put together dice and dowels in a plastic container. Um, that doesn't translate into what he was doing at ShopRite, which is stocking items in a freezer. That doesn't translate into any job that we want him to do. Colness petitioned the legislature asking that students about to graduate receive services for an extra year, a challenge because the state cutoff for disability services is currently age 21. Senate President Steve Sweeney and Senator Don Adiego sponsored a bill to extend those services for 20 and 21 year olds. Parents should have a choice to let a child stay back a year because of what has happened. But special needs children, it's, it's even more difficult. You know, kids actually go backwards. I've, I've seen it. You know, I'm a parent of a child with special needs. So giving them that extra year actually gives us a chance to, to, to recapture that momentum that was going forward. They need that year to reach their potential. And it's up to the legislature to do that because individual districts, they're not doing it. We're asking. And, and we're being told no. What happens to Sammy and his peers if they don't get this bill passed? We'll have to try and find adult day programs for him. And many of the day programs don't have that vocational opportunity. But it's not the same as getting that transition program from a special education teacher with an IEP with goals that he has to meet. Our fear now is he won't have that opportunity to have meaningful employment. Is this a failure of the state's constitutional obligation to these kids? I would say yes. I would say it's no one's fault. It's because of COVID, but they have an obligation to see that our children get the education that, that they were entitled to. Without this change, the average family simply can't afford to pay for these very costly services, says Autism NJ's Eric Eberman. There's funding that was, that was released in the, the, the new federal stimulus bill. Uh, there's about $3 billion that, that would uh, go to special education. Uh, we're hoping some of that, you know, comes down and, and is able to be put towards those compensatory services. He says timing is critical because many of these special needs students are now in crisis, some even being hospitalized for depression. Sweeney's bill is moving through the Senate, but hasn't yet gotten a hearing in the Assembly. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.